the U.S. Open, Carlos Alcaraz used his combination of energy and maturity to beat Casper Ruud 6-4-2-6-7-6-6-3 in the U.S. Open final on Sunday to earn his first Grand Slam title at the age of only 19 and became the youngest man to be ranked number one. The Spaniard only briefly showed signs of fatigue from having to get through three consecutive five setters to reach the title match, which no one had done in New York in 30 years. Alcaraz dropped the second set and faced a pair of set points while down 6-5 in the third. However, he erased each of those points from the set opportunities for Rude with the sword of quick reflex, soft hand follies he repeatedly displayed. Alcaraz's search to the end of that set with help from a series of shank shots by a tight-looking Rude in the ensuing tiebreaker. One break in the fourth was all it took for Alcaraz to seal the victory in the only Grand Slam final between two players seeking both a first major championship and the top spot in the ATP's computerized rankings, which dates to 1973. Rude, the 23-year-old from Norway, is now 0-2 in, in slam finals. He was the runner-up to Rafael Nadal at the French Open in June. Well, this is something that uh, I dreamt of uh, since, I, since I was a kid, you know, to be number one in the world, to be champion so, uh, of a Grand Slam. Uh, this is something that I work really, really hard for. Uh, I mean, mm, it's tough to talk right now, a lot of emotions right now, but uh, yeah, it's... Uh, This is something that uh, yeah, I try to, to achieve uh, all the hard work that uh, I did with my team, my family, that uh, took care uh, about me. I'm just 19 years old, so all the decisions, the top decisions are with, with my parents, my team as well. So uh, this is uh, something that uh, yeah, is uh, really, really special for me. Voy a cambiar a español para todos vosotros. Que muchísima gente ha venido de España para, para verme, para animarme este día tan especial, mucha gente de todo el mundo.